Hello fellow collectors and welcome back to Gallic on Toys. Thank thank you very much for joining me in today's unboxing and review. And today we are having a look at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta or Super Saiyan Blue for short by Bandai Tamashi Nations. Uh, now this is from the new Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. This is the first figure uh, one of the first figures released. Uh, I am currently waiting on the Broly figure to be sent to me. Uh, I also ordered that as well. Uh, but unfortunately, that hasn't arrived and we've got a public holiday. So I'm going to probably have to wait another four or five days for Broly to actually arrive. Uh, so that's a bit unfortunate, but we've got this to look at in the meantime. And I will be bringing this guy in for some comparisons with the Broly, uh, but unfortunately we don't have Broly to bring in for some comparisons for this guy, unfortunately. So as you can see, he looks fantastic in the box. Nice presentation all around, really nice image. I really like this uh, shadowed image that they've used for the figure in the front. Just some nice black and white images of his uh, base head there. Uh, moving along to the back, you can just see some nice production images. Give you guys a bit of a closer look there. Just some nice pictures of Broly and Gogeta in some really cool um, poses and just looks really good. Okay, so now we've had a look at the box and uh, the outside presentation. Let's crack this beauty open, shall we? Okay, so we've got Gogeta open here, and as you can see, he comes with two fist hands, which he's currently got on. He comes with his two grappling hands. He comes with his two energy shooting palms. And he comes with his two outstretched palms for, like, deflecting blasts or uh, could also be used for firing attacks as well. And then he's got three different Super Saiyan Blue faces. So he's got uh, one sort of neutral face. He's got his screaming face. And then he's got his sort of smiling face. And then he's got his base powered down head just down here. Alright, so now that we've had a look at all the accessories and uh, what he comes with, let's have a look at the actual figure itself, shall we? Okay, we've got Gogeta out, and oh wow, he looks pretty fantastic. Uh, I do have a bit of an imperfection there on the chin. I'm not super upset about that because this is not the head I'm going to be... Uh, the face, I should say, that I'm going to be displaying him with. Uh, I will try and keep an eye out for a second one of these so I can display him with his base head. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this one I'm going to be displaying with the Super Saiyan Blue screaming face. So actually, let's chuck that on and uh, have a look what he looks like. I can't seem to win on this... Uh Gogeta figure because he's got uh, a few more imperfections uh, on this face than the other one does unfortunately so that's really disappointing but overall I don't think it's super noticeable on this one uh, it doesn't look super noticeable through the camera lens to me but uh, it might be a little bit more noticeable on the video uh, to me later when I'm editing or to you guys while you're watching it uh, I do like what they've done with the shoulder pads here so they move really nicely they've got some really great articulation in there so they're not going to hinder your movement in any way by the looks of it and they're just gonna yeah just really good uh, I don't go into great detail on the breakdowns of articulations on my SH figure arts guys because uh, I personally try to pose them as little as possible uh, and only pose them when I really need to just because if you pose them a lot, they do get rather loose. Uh, so that's never something I go into. And there's so many fantastic reviewers uh, like Anthony's Customs and Daredevil19 that are just doing amazing reviews and breakdowns of these SHV Guards Dragon Ball figures. But overall, I'm really happy with the sculpt work. Uh, the articulation looks really on point, as all SH figure arts uh, seem to be these days. I really like the wrap down here on his boots. That just looks really good and is some of the best cloth wrap I've seen on an SH figure arts. So that's really good. Uh, and I can see they're just 
getting better as they go, as they keep going. Uh, they seem to just find a little bit more and a little bit more that just makes it makes each figure just a little bit better than the last. Uh, sometimes it's two steps forward, one step back, uh, but it's always usually positive, they're always learning, and I'm always really happy with the SH figure. It's figures that I pick up for my collection. Uh, and other than the San Diego releases and the special convention exclusives, uh, I do have every SH figure arts to date. Uh, except for the original Trunks and the original Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I do have the premium colour versions of those now, so I don't feel I have any need to pick those up. Uh, so I do have a pretty extensive collection as is. And just quickly, if I throw the base head on to give you guys a look, and that looks really good. I am definitely going to have to look out for a second one of these so I can display him with this second head. And with a bit of luck, uh, on the next one I get, the faces on the Super Saiyan Blue will be a little bit cleaner than this one. Uh, and then I can just use this one as my base head Gogeta. And I can use the other one for my Super Saiyan Blue head Gogeta. So overall, really great figure, really happy with it, really excited to pick up the Broly when he comes, and yeah, overall, I don't think there's much more I can say, guys, other than if you get a chance, uh, pick this one up. I do know uh, it was it's pretty well sold out and is a little bit hard to come by. Uh, I'm sure you can pick it up on the secondary market on eBay like I did. Uh, you might just have to pay a little bit more for it. But keep an eye out, guys. I'm sure there's some deals going around, uh, and I'm sure they're probably going to be releasing more in the future. Uh, maybe do a second shipment or a, another batch, hopefully. But uh, we'll see, and just keep an eye on your news, guys, and uh, keep an eye on your favorite retailers for uh, that. Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below, and if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, at Galagun Toys. Thank you as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.